What's up guys, this is Brett here from brettdev.com coming at you with another video. So today in this video I wanted to talk to my freelancers and digital nomads out there and the topic of the video is so you want to become a freelancer. Those of you who have been following this channel for a long time will know that over the years that's what I've done. I've been a freelancer in Thailand and before I came to Thailand and freelancing for me has really been an amazing way to be able to live out here in Thailand, Chiang Mai, and pretty much to be able to go wherever I want, right? So even, even back in England, I didn't, wasn't stuck in a nine to five. Um, I can't remember the last nine to five that I had, but ultimately freelancing is a great thing to get into. It gives you location independence. It gives you sort of kind of like I would say financial freedom, but obviously it's not like sitting on a trust fund or anything like that, but it gives you the ability to kind of make your own income and to be able to be in control of that. However, I get a lot of questions from the students on my freelancing course and from people I just meet in general out here in Chiang Mai that have started freelancing, that are getting into freelancing and are mainly coming from like a nine to five scenario where they're pretty much they are moving to a new country, they're trying to be location independent and ultimately they kind of want to take control of their lives. One thing I noticed with a, a lot of freelancers, especially new freelancers that aren't used to kind of like the lifestyle because it is a lifestyle, is that they don't have some very basic fundamentals down before they decide that they want to start freelancing and working for themselves. And without having these fundamentals down, for some of them, freelancing it becomes unbearable and it becomes not a very nice experience okay so like if you're looking at videos on YouTube you say oh, I'm gonna start freelancing I can live wherever I want it seems really fantastic but there are some things that need to be considered that a lot of people I don't think actually consider the first thing and this is especially important for people that are coming from kind of like a cushy nine-to-five or like a job where they're not held that accountable and that, that thing is just the fact that you have to be accountable. Like if you start freelancing, you have to be like an extremely responsible person. You have to be able to be responsible not only for your own business, but you have to be responsible for like the effect that you have in other people's businesses. And that just means extreme responsibility. And if you can't achieve that, if you can't stay responsible and if you can't get results for your clients, then you're not going to have a job, right? If you're used to working for like a really big company and just kind of like sitting in a back office and not really being held accountable for what you do and just collecting your check at the end of the month, like going out there and doing it on your own is, may come as a massive, massive shock to you. And if you are that type of person, then perhaps freelancing ne isn't necessarily for you. Perhaps you need to either ease into it slowly or if you do want to be like location independent and come and live in Chiang Mai or Thailand or anywhere else, you, you could be better off getting an actual job where other people can actually hold you responsible. Some people just can't be responsible to themselves. They have to be accountable to somebody else. And if that's the case, then, you know, like becoming a teacher, an international teacher where you have to go into a school and they, they tell you what to do, that may be better for you. But ultimately, like, if you, are, if you can be responsible, great, go for it. That, that's one of the, but that's a, that's a real real big thing right if you can't be responsible then and you can't be accountable and you can't get results and you can't burden the weight of having to do that then you might want to look at some other like career options the second thing is that when you're freelancing time is money in most cases so you need to be not only responsible but you need to be highly organized so you need to be able to organize your life and I guess it kind of goes back to the same point if you can't organize your, your life if you need to be told when to come and go then go and get a job as a teacher or do something else you don't necessarily have to be the most organized person in the world or the most responsible these are things that you can work on but I'm just making this video so that those who are considering that path are aware like it's not like all sunshine and rainbows, there is, these are certain aspects of your, your personality and the way you operate on a day-to-day -day basis that you're going to have to have nailed down, right? Like responsibility and time management and organization. And you need to be kind of meticulous about both of them if you want to kind of maximize your results. Lastly, one big thing that freelancers overlook is they have to become marketers. 
So that goes for almost everyone, except there's some few like fringe cases where you could be like the absolute best at what you do and people just seek you out. But for 99.9% of people, that is not the case. They're not the greatest at whatever it is they do. So they have to become marketers. So if you're deciding that you want to become a freelancer, if you want to go down that career path, yes, it has its, its benefits, its perks. You can kind of do it from wherever you want. You don't even need to have to travel. You could work from home or whatever. But all of you will have to become marketers. So you do whatever you do, wherever your skill set is first, and you're a marketer second. Unless you are a freelance marketer, then you're just a marketer, right? <laughs> but you have to become a marketer if you're a freelancer. Ultimately, that's what I decided to teach in my free online course, the Freelancing Masterclass, because I felt that that was the one thing that every freelancer needs that they don't have, which is the ability to market. And if you do want to become a freelancer and you only want to do what you love doing, let's say like you want to become a freelance artist or you want to become a freelance music composer because you like playing music and you have no interest in marketing and you don't ever intend to, like you just dismiss it, like I'm just not doing that, then you're never going to be able to work for yourself. You know, you're going to have to learn marketing. If not, again, go back to working for other people. Every freelancer needs to know how to market and the success of your freelancing business ultimately actually depends on your marketing ability. It depends on how good of a market you are, not how good you are at your actual craft. I mean, you have to be good enough, but I always say that you don't have to be the best. You don't even have to be, you don't even have to be close to the average. You can be subpar, and if you're a good marketer, you can still make a lot of money freelancing. So those are three things to consider, guys, if you are looking at becoming location independent, if you are looking to work online, and if freelancing is the way you're going to do it. So it's not for everyone. These these are the three three like things you should check off first. And if you if you can check those three things off, fine, go for it. Or if you've already started to freelance and you're having trouble, step back and look. Ask yourself like, do I have a problem with responsibility? Do I have a problem with time management? You know, if you're trying to freelance and you're not making any money and, and shit's getting fucked up for you, check those things off. You know, like, do I know how to market? All right. If you because if it's one of those things missing, then that's probably your problem. That's probably why you're not making money and probably why you're sending me messages asking for help. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're a digital nomad, if you're looking to freelance online, hopefully you'll get a lot out of it. And until next time, guys, this is Brett from brettdev.com and we're out. Peace.